can you attend online and get results? The answer is absolutely, definitely you can, no doubt about it. Secondly, it's a very important, I consider it a very important milestone because what we'll be doing is stacking spells. We'll be actually organizing our work structure so that one, everything kind of works synergistically with everything else. And so there are, there are five um, areas, work areas, that we will stack and then combine into one single effort that you do here that covers all five of these areas. Um, that is most important. Look, the fast draw, we're talking maybe an hour's worth of stuff, okay? Maybe two hours because everybody has to go through it. But it's, you know, it's not that much. What we're really going to be concentrating on a lot is how you can organize your work on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, actually, so you know what you should be doing every single hour of the day in terms of your work, how, you, how you're going to handle each hour. So what you're doing right now is, is the question, do you, are you doing what you really want to be doing right now? Typically the answer to that is hell no. So you need to change that so you are doing what you wish to be doing. Now, presumably, you wish to be doing the work and to be doing the work as in the work. Break that down. Well, I, I know that anyone that's actually listening to this broadcast is having those moments. Those moments Wakeboarding. Meaning what? I look at them as thin spots where the, the bardo nature of what's going on mm, Okay, so out. some folks would call them waking moments. Yeah. A waking spell. <laughs> yeah, the machine enters into the awakened state. An, un, an unfainting spell. Yeah. Uh, you're grappling in God, and you grapple against the ceiling, and there happens to be a skybox above that normally wouldn't see it, right? But you will see a little tiny section of skybox when you get to the top of the ceiling, if there's a skybox above it. And so just for a moment, you get a glimpse between, you know, or you stumble into a uh, space where, um, for some reason, the domains are not hooked up properly, and you get a cross domain thing. So you, you get a slice all the way through, and you can see all the way through stuff. Yeah, or, or they're like double takes. Yeah. You know, it's like, and there can be simple things like doing the dishes, and you look down, and you, the, the things are just a certain way, and all of a sudden you're going, now, if I go that direction a little bit further... <laughs> <laughs> They'll take me away. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if I want to go that way. <laughs> I have fuzzy blobs. I have fuzzy blobs that are traveling out from where I can't see them to where I can. And they're hovering over or inside. They're immersed in some sort of another kind of blob. Well, it's the same blob, but it's colored differently. <laughs> One of them is transparent, and the other one is more opaque, slightly more opaque. Yeah, and then if you travel further in that direction, they will take you away. But you can go the other direction quite easily, just as easily, where they don't take you away, and yet you, you can still be cognizant of the fact that it is how it is. It's blobs of energy interpenetrating when your hands are in, in water. And I, and I do believe that um, having a system that introduces you, not for the first time, but reintroduces you to those moments in the context of a training system that teaches you how to effectively deal with those so that they don't take you away. Um, Look, fear. Number one issue with a lot of people is fear. Can you conquer fear? The answer is absolutely you can conquer fear. Not all fears. Some fears you'll never conquer. But you can conquer fears. There are some that are conquerable. The way you conquer them is by actually 
I told you yesterday the typewriter method. You keep slamming at it and slamming at it. If you have a past life that is really bothering you in this life, it's called impacting. It's impacting you in this life. They're now, not when as we demanding. get into the God levels, that's where we can communicate very, very well. And one of the places that I will send you, bring you to, during the workshop will be Cosmo Street. And at Cosmo Street, we'll have a meeting. And you'll occupy one of the chairs, or one of the places, I should say, at the meeting space. I will be designing that meeting space specifically for that workshop so that it will contain the number of folks that we expect there, because it will be a large number. The reason we'll have so many people at this workshop is because it is 90% online. 10% is going to be in person. 90% is going to be online. You will get online everything we can possibly deliver to you. You'll have a field day with your 1870s, 1880s incarnation because it'll come back to you instantly because these are the holsters we used these are the weapons we used you will be so familiar with them that it'll come back to you ideally what you would do is send for the fast draw package now the fast draw package is going to set you back a minimum of two hundred and fifty dollars and the way that i did it it's going to be something on the order of uh, three hundred and fifty dollars Um, not including the, the gun belt, that, I, that weird gun belt thing. I don't know if you heard the story about this. Let me show that gun belt to folks. A lot of that translates back and forth between um, uh, physical things and also um, um, uh, virtual things. I have, for instance, uh, I will have a, a, a free Reno run for everybody who attends the workshop, they will have a Reno run. And attending online is the way you'll have a Reno run best in that case. Because you'll have an online Reno run with me and Claude. Hey, eh? an afterlife adventure, but it's online. And it's in a God environment. And you're going to find yourself astonished because you'll see, those of you who were there in Reno with us, you will be go through this and say, wow, that is amazing. It really does evoke. It's not precisely the same. It doesn't look the same exactly. Actually, what it measures, it's like the spirit uh, portraits, the soul portraits. What it does is it measures what's spiritually there, what's, what's, when you take it, when you remove the layer of organic, the energy layer that's left, well, that's what you get in my orbs, in my, in my levels, is the energy uh, uh, um, structure rather than the mechanical structure. And you will be amazed. You'll say to yourself, well, or to someone around you, that's what it was like to be in, on, on the afterlife adventure. That's exactly what it was like to be there. And here we're running around in it for free. In a, in, a, uh, in a God environment, see? And you're home. You don't have to get on a plane and come here and do that. You can just go to your computer, and the larger your... Oh, I'll tell you right now. The larger your computer screen, the better experience you're going to have. So it'll be a very immersive environment. So here's what you need to handle this next workshop. What you need is a big, wide... I guess what is this, this is uh, 16 by 16 to 10 or 16 to yes yeah, 16 to 10 isn't it nine I think there's 16 nine? to nine okay to nine so 16 to nine ratio screen well I would I would say a the nice thing to do fast is uh, computer what, if connection. you've been putting off you've got a if you've got a crappy little monitor and you keep saying to yourself over and over again damn, I've got to get a better monitor. Stop putting it off and get a better monitor. If, if you keep saying to yourself, you know, i got to call my ISP one of these days and figure out what in the hell's gone wrong with my internet connection. Well, 
quit putting it off and call your ISP and get it worked out. Whatever you have happening in your computer online thing that you know about, go ahead and handle what you know about. You don't have to create problems where there are none. If, if you've got a system set up that, no, I, I, I get on anytime I want. I've had no internet problems and I'm happy with my monitor and my computer's been doing not good by Who ever said those things? Me. I don't know anyone who's ever said those words. I'm completely happy with my computer system. Most people won't do anything about the computer system, no matter how wretched it is, the one they happen to have, because they can't justify it, because we live in a society where everything must be justified by some standards. So you can't justify getting your computer system, you know, modernized, like somewhere in the 21st century. But I need a good system that will actually handle what's going to happen to us. It's going to happen to me. Because what I'm going to ask you to do is go into an environment with us. You and I will go into an environment together, many environments together. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to come back and to, to this chat and we'll talk here. Then we'll go back into the environment again. Then we'll come back here again and so forth, back and forth. There will be movements, that's one of the most important parts of this, is we'll have not just movements, but I'm also going to show you some martial arts uh, connected with these movements. I'll show you some martial arts things, and that's where the fast draw came from, is that I, I actually desired to show you a couple of these. Um, I don't know. Uh, Yes, we'll be doing movements, we'll be doing uh, martial arts, we'll be doing breathing, we'll be doing music uh, things, we'll be doing things with the Zen flute for breathing, we'll be doing things with the didgeridoo, also for breathing purposes. Uh, we'll be working with the uh, angel, the angelic callings. That's a very important part of it because you need to know the angelic callings to help you. Everything that I'm going to be showing you are ways to boost your work. There are runes and gemstones and uh, plug-ins of various kinds and socketed items and so forth. That's what you'll be getting this week, this, in, in, in that weekend, is socketed, rare, and unique items to boost your work uh, efforts. But you have to be making work efforts. You can't just sit there and watch television all day long. You can't just doodle around and, you know, hang out at Disneyland the whole time. You have to make work efforts. But if you're making work efforts, these things will do some good. If you're not making work, work efforts, what the hell is the difference whether your things are socketed rares or not? If you're just hanging around town. So... Um, a great deal of what we're going to be teaching this weekend is how to work. How to do your work. And we're going to be using online techniques such as online gaming to demonstrate how to keep your discipline together. How to keep your work together. But also, how to keep your life together. It's very important that you learn how to integrate the work ideas with your life. And in order to do that, if you have relationship, you're in a relationship or several relationships or many relationships or whatever kind of relationships, multiple or complex or simplistic, whatever they are, if you're in any kind of, if you know anybody at all, there's a relationship going on of some sort or another, obviously. And learning how to balance those and make those work with the work is very important. And... Uh, so that so you need to learn about relationship as a partnership rather than as a convenience store. And we'll talk a great deal about that. 
and about how to integrate your work with your family life and, and so forth. I also am going to talk about a little bit uh, on the subject of, um, of uh, children and on uh, the subject of, um, of education. We'll be working a little bit in that area, but only in terms of how it affects you and your work. It's not going to be on a broad sweeping basis. We're not there to amuse ourselves. What we're trying to do is actually quantize and organize your work efforts on a daily basis, per diem basis. And some of those things, as I said yesterday, are things you can do that are invisible to those around you. Most of the things that I develop are things you can do when you're at work at IBM somewhere. If you're in a cubicle at IBM, you can still do these things invisibly to anyone. You can be under television observation, video observation, and you, nobody's going to know you're working. Nobody's going to know. When my mother went on the big spin, you can see this. There's videos of it. I, we, if, maybe we don't have the videos up. We should probably put... You got the actual spin? You got the video up too? Uh, the or just the photo? Part of it. No, video. The video of, okay, good. Well, you can see she's wearing a prosperity amulet. And she says in an interview afterwards, she says that she was wearing this prosperity amulet that I had made for her. And, that's, and she won $15,220,000. Actually, what has this got to do with anything? This has to do with the fact that we'll actually be doing some. Uh, some gaming together, but it's all kinds of gaming, all kinds of things, situational things. You know, um, in uh, when I worked uh, with uh, with Fritz Perls, uh, one of the things that we came up with situ was situational gaming, and uh, that was one of the inventions, one of the great inventions that came out of uh, Claudio, Claudio Naranjo, uh, had this idea of, of, of playing games uh, situationally with groups of people uh, where they would adopt different attitudes, different places, different positions in the Enneagram and so forth. And that was a fantastic idea. Um, and, and that is game playing, it's, game, it's role playing or game playing, and that's done quite a bit in, um, in therapy, right? But, but it's also done a lot in other things. Now, you, you would not even think twice, most, of, most people on this planet wouldn't even think twice about if they were offered a couple of tickets to go to see the what's the big football game I don't know Super Bowl Super Bowl, Super Bowl. so you're given two front row tickets uh, 50 yard line right isn't that right oh yeah yeah the 50 yard line right right at the at the bottom of the thing of the yeah yeah, because that's where I, you know, I went to one of those things, stupid me. I, I didn't know what it was about, so I thought, well, let's go see you. And it was, as you said, the, the, Oz says, the Super Bowl, or Super Bowl, I guess one word. I went to see this thing, and there were these Texas cheerleaders at this thing, and they were, they were wearing the skimpiest costumes I ever saw in my life, and I've seen some skimpy costumes. That was really skimpy. I mean, it makes Hooters look Victorian. And... Um, which is the only place I eat at, by the way. I, I, I don't cook anymore because of Hooters. If they didn't have a Hooters here, I'd be cooking again. So, <laughs> anyway, food is fantastic. The atmosphere sucks. And I do mean that in a big way. <laughs> so... <laughs> Where the hell was I? <laughs> And I so rudely interrupted myself. <laughs> I was talking about Hooters. It's because yeah, it's finally a topic we can all appreciate. It's because it, because the subject came up. Okay. You went to a football game. I went to a football game, and there was, a, and I had paid for this ticket. Was, I was really yelping because the ticket was like thirty-five dollars. I thought that was outrageous for a football game, for anything, any ticket. But I went, and they sat me. Way the hell, can you believe this? You wouldn't believe where they sat me. Way up, I couldn't see anything. The football field itself was like a little tiny speck down there. People that would look like little, like ants. And it wasn't really ants, it was people. I could barely make them out from where I was sitting. They'd stuck me so, but anyway, I, that's what? 
the nosebleed the section. The nosebleed section, oh, because you're up so high, right? Yeah, the nosebleed section. I used to get I used to get nosebleeds above 14th Street in Manhattan. <laughs> so 15th Street that started it started happening. So get uptown, man. Whoa. So <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I noticed this at the, what they call the 50-yard line. Right at the middle of the field, there was an empty seat. So I waited a few minutes to see if any, politely, to see if anybody sat there. Nobody seemed to want to. So I walked over there, and I walked. I thought, what the hell can I lose? I'm going to leave anyway. Cause this is terrible. I can't even see anything. I walked down there, and I, there was a guy sitting next to me. I said, next to the seat. I said, do you mind? He said, not at all. Go ahead. And he said, actually, that seat is ours. It's, you, you're welcome to sit there. He said, that's, that's, that's my wife's seat. And I said, uh, your wife, why, 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 isn't she, why isn't she here? He said, oh, well, my wife passed away. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, couldn't you have given this, the ticket to, to somebody, one well, of your friends? He said, well, yeah, but they're all at the funeral. <laughs> 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 so keep that in mind you guys all right there's going to be more on this subject please do keep keep uh, track follow me uh, on my uh, on my blogs and i'll be happy to give you some information as i know it by the way the blogs are very good for a source of information for what i'm working on right now what i'm doing right this second what's going on and what you can be looking forward to main thing i want you to do be ready those of you who are really into knowing how to do this, do be prepared to, uh, to download some uh, things swiftly and use them, work with them, and inventively work with them. Try to deal with the problems that, that develop and try to tell us what those problems are so we can help you to solve or help solve them. Um, if you want to test your system, let us know and we can uh, arrange to... Uh, what we'll do is we'll post a special orb that is not very demanding. Um, the way that we post them online, we have to charge something, otherwise there's problems with the service we're using. So we'll make a little 99 cent orb, just a little sample orb. Which we're after your money. And um, most of that will go to the download service because they charge for bandwidth. But we'll make a little 99 cent orb that you can get and that you can use as a test to see if your system will run the games at all. And also, you can learn the download procedure and just get familiar with it. And it's like a test run.